Bone Tactical Overland Expedition Land Cruiser build, batteries and electronics. It's important to make sure that you have all the electrical wiring done correctly and really neat and squared away. Connection soldered, large enough cables, everything fused. For example, a large zero gauge or double zero gauge winch cable can create enough of an amperage to actually solder or start fires inside of your vehicle. So it's really important. Okay, come in here and I'll show you a little bit about what we've got going on under here. We've got a really lot going on here. We've got a, right here, a dual battery isolator running our dual battery system. What that does is it separates both of our batteries when the vehicle's off. When the key is not in the on position, it allows us to run all of our accessories off of this auxiliary battery right here. I've got a spot here in the tray for another auxiliary battery. I may put one in there at some point in the future if I ever decide to run a fridge or anything like that. Right now, I just really don't want to, but I've made the tray big enough to put it in there just in case. But what this does is when the key's in the on position, both batteries are run parallel, it connects them and it charges them together. The alternator charges them together. But when the key's off, it allows me to be camping, hanging out around the vehicle at night, whatever, listening to music, anything like that, and just drain this battery. Even if I drain it all the way dead, it just drains that and my cranking battery is still 100% good to go. All right, I got the train horn up here. Got all this. Got these 100 amp fuses here. And these are run right off of the power leads on both batteries. You want your big fuses close to the positive leads. You wanna make sure you have a good ground connection, everything soldered, everything fused. You wanna use a, either really good elec heavy electrical tape. Also, you wanna use heat shrink tubing, silicone, all kinds of stuff like that. Get as protective as you can, corrugated plastic tubing like you see. I'm gonna put some more of that on here when I get it. I've put a few already. I'll show you over here. The only thing, I have the rear, front and rear winch running off of my cranking battery. You can see this is the corrugated heavy tubing I'm talking about here and here. I've got the, the winches run off here because they draw so much power, they like to be off your big cranking battery, the winches, and obviously the car is gonna be on if I'm winching. I'm gonna be in an emergency situation, I'm gonna need the winch and I want the big battery to power the winch. Here's my other fuse box here. I told you if you're gonna run a big cable off of there, you wanna have your fuse really close here to your power lead close to the battery. Behind the back seat is my electronics and equipment board. It's all fusible there with a marine grade fuse. I'll show you that if you want to come around here. First, let me show you the center console. Here's my center console right here, guys. Custom built center console, all right? It's got these switches for all the lights on the outside here. All right, front, rear, front, left, right, rear. Lights, light bars, two, four, six, eight light bars on the outside here. All right, got two speakers, two mid speakers, front and back, and underneath is a subwoofer box and a subwoofer. So this is all wired in, and speakers and charging things, and also a voltage meter on there. Behind the seat, as I told you, is my equipment panel. That's Right here, Slimline 1500, that's for charging any household items I wanna charge, AC-DC converter. As you can see, right next to the camera there is the gauges for my airbags. I, they're independently plumbed, left side and right side. Then I got my rock light module. I have the marine grade fuse here. I have my amp here. That's all run from the power to here and then everything. All right, guys. I have all of my alarm stuff is under the dash, my GPS is under the dash, all of that neatly tucked away, you can't see any of it. I'll, I'll show you a little bit if you want to come around the other side here, I'll show you the final part of the electronic system. Like I said, I got a big cable going to the rear winch here. And I have these lights up here, red lights inside for work lights. If I wanna be working, if I'm cooking on the back there, if I'm making some food or anything like that, I got those red lights, as you can see, the work lights there. And then this is a master on off switch here for if I'm sleeping in the truck and I hit this switch, I can turn all the lights on or off on the top there. All the electrical, all these LED lights, they all have covers on them. It, removable covers and the cables are ran through the roof rack. It's a three piece system. You've got the bed piece here, the subframe and then the full exoskeleton. All of them are disconnected here with plugs so I can remove them all separately and the wires are permanently ran through and silicone, the holes are silicone closed as you can see here. That's a plug, the plugs are all removable there. 
wires are all neatly tucked away and done up. And the last thing here is the rock lights, guys. These rock lights, see if I can get them on on my cell phone here, pull the application up and turn these rock lights on on my cell phone. This is the application for the cell phone here. It goes to that board in the back I told you about. And then these are the rock lights up here. All right, so I hit the power button here and the rock lights come on. All right, they got a bunch of different colors. You wanna pan down so you can actually see the, the light itself. All right, here's the light itself and I'll cut it off so you can see. These are on all four tires. And that's the rock light, that's the system right there on and off. You wanna show how it's how on all four and then we'll just do a quick slow, actually pan around the truck and then we'll, we'll cut it from there. All right guys, these are on both sides, all four tires. This is the system. If you've got any questions or comments, anything you wanna know, let me know. But the basic gist of it is, solder every connection you can solder. Make sure everything's really tough, really durable. Protect your wires and fuses, guys. Everything easily accessible, clean and tidy, tucked away where it's not gonna rub, cut, you know, no crazy angles or bends. And also remember, every connection you lose a little bit of power. So you wanna run as many cables clean and clear as you can, guys. All right, bone out.